Hey, welcome. I'm Leah McHenry with Savvy Musician Academy, and we have some really big news here. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. Spotify meets Shopify. Oh my gosh. If you have any idea how big this is, I am over the moon excited about it because there has not really been a great way so far to get your Spotify listeners and traffic to your shop. There just hasn't been a great way. They had this weird merch bar thing before and only certain labels had it and not all artists had access to that. It was really weird. They had this really complicated way of having to apply for this weird merch bar. And I'm so glad they just simplified everybody's lives and just made it so easy for people to make more money with their fans and like turn those streamers and that traffic into actual revenue. So um, this is the article they sent out today. I got this email this morning, basically just walks you through what they're doing and why, and it's really easy to connect. So I thought I'd just show you very quickly how to connect your Shopify to Spotify. And this requires that you have two things, one, a Shopify store, and two, a Spotify for artists account. So um, if you don't have a Spotify for Artists account, that's the first thing you have to do. You go open up that account. You just Google, do a search for Spotify for Artists, set that all up. I'm assuming that you already have that. Um, and if you don't have a Shopify store, that's something I'm going to walk you through as well. It's very, very easy to set up a Shopify store. I have been teaching for a long time now that you are not actually in the music business. If you're an artist selling your music online, you are actually in the e-commerce industry, not the music business. You're in the e-commerce industry. Sure, you're selling music, you're selling your art, you're doing that, but it's e-commerce. It's physical and digital products sell, sold online. So here we are. And and so this is such great news that Spotify has integrated this. So um, it looks like here, this is really excellent news. It says Shopify is offering a 90-day free trial to Spotify artists signing up for the first time. I have a code for a 14-day free trial, but they have a 90-day free trial for you. So I would just go through that. That sounds like the best way to do it. This, They haven't done 90-day free trial in a really long time. So you should 100% take advantage of that. That is incredible. So that means you're not going to get charged for 90 days. Now, if you want some of the upgrades, this will be for like the basic. I don't know if they will give you some of the more uh, advanced features for this free trial, but they might. So definitely try signing up and doing that. So when you go into your Spotify for Artists account, it's really easy. They give instructions right here. And I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. It says you literally log into Spotify for Artists go to your dashboard and it has to be on desktop. You can't do this on mobile. Go to your profile tab and click merch to get started. And from there you can choose three items. So it'll automatically sync and you have to type in your little Shopify store. And I'm actually going to log into mine and see if I can show you how it looked for me, but you end up picking three items to feature. Okay. So and I'll show you how that all looked on my Spotify account as well. So you can just see what the end result kind of is like. So I'm going to pull up my Spotify for Artists page. Okay, so I'm inside my Spotify for Artists dashboard here, and it's really easy. You will normally be on the home page. You're just going to come over here to profile, come down to this new tab that you will see called Merch Beta. And you just click on that, and it's going to say Log in to Shopify. So that's why you already have to have your Shopify store there has to exist. And once you do this, it's really easy. All you do is enter your shop name. Okay, so mine's leahthemusic.myshopify.com. That's, so it's not like the URL you have set up. It's going to be the actual shop name when you first signed up with Shopify. That's the, that's the one that they want. And then you're going to link shop. It's that easy. Okay, so it's going to log me in here. I accept the terms and you're going to connect. It's now doing a connection back to Spotify. I'm going to select the artist, confirm, and boom, it is done. Now you're going to see here on the left hand side, you're going to see under sales channels, Spotify. See, there's Facebook, Google, they have this other, all these other channels. Spotify is just yet one more channel now added. And you can see right now, it says I have 18 products published. Now what you can do is go back to your Spotify for Artists page 
and then you're going to be able to select those 18 products or select three out of however many products you have to display. So let's do that. All right, I'm back on my page, clicking on the merch beta. And boom, look what we have here, your products on Shopify. Now, these are not published on my Spotify page just yet. I'm going to have to choose which items I want to add. And remember, I have three spots. So I'm going to choose something related to just one of my latest releases. I'm probably going to do um, an LP because winter's coming up. I'm going to do this CD here. And then let's see here, maybe maybe this one for now. So a couple LPs. All right. So that that's that. Okay. So now you're going to see these spots here. Now I'm going to need to view this. I'm going to open up Spotify and actually look at it. And I will show you and I'll walk you through what this uh, checkout process now looks like. All right, here we go. I am on the web browser right now. So this is what it looks like. This is my page. If I scroll down, you've got your popular releases, albums, singles, uh, fans, appears on a uh, bunch of this stuff is wrong. <laughs> Don't you hate that when your name is associated with the wrong bands? Oh my gosh. Um, discovered on and then boom, look at this offers. There's the three that I chose and that was instantaneous. So what happens when we click on it? Notice this, it looks like it's going to take us offline. So I'm going to open this up. This is still on Spotify, but it pulled through my description that was on Shopify and displayed it here. So this is exactly what is written on Shopify and they can select quantity here and they can go buy it now. When they click on that, it's going to Shopify from Spotify to Shopify. That's going to be a tongue twister. People are going to get that mixed up a lot. Okay. And here we are. We are on the checkout page of my store, of my Shopify store, just like that. That is how easy it is. And gosh, this is going to change things. This is going to help so much, even just by getting people to land here on my shop. I can now, that's going to help with a little bit of more uh, tracking, right? So if you know anything about tracking and pixels and all of that, now some of that changed with the recent iOS 14 update, but it's still going to help. You're getting people, you know, coming to your shop and then they might start looking at other things. They can easily just click on the logo. They can go back and start shopping other things. So, um, in fact, there is a, a uh, continue shopping button right here. So this is what I'm saying. We are actually in the e-commerce industry. So if you consider yourself an online musician, you are selling your merchandise online, you're building your music brand online. This has never been more important is to understand that you are actually in the e-commerce industry, not the music industry. And so you want to have a Shopify store. Shopify is the industry standard. You shouldn't be using other crazy platforms that are so much work and not designed for conversion. Conversion means translating from traffic to sale. Shopify is designed for conversion. The top stores in the world use Shopify. It's the most familiar checkout experience that people know and trust. When they see just this, this checkout page, they know it, they trust it, they're used to it. Therefore, your conversion rate will be higher just by using Shopify. So I couldn't recommend it high enough. Um, some of you know that I have been building my music business since 2012 as an independent recording artist. I have never done a tour in my entire career because I've been a stay-at-home mom, raising my five children, homeschooling them at the same time while building my music brand, while building multiple businesses. And th this, we have never had more tools in our hands than right now that lead to success. So you have no excuses to not succeed with this. And I just have to drill that in because it's so important that we are using these kinds of tools. So I hope this has been really helpful. I'm so excited for you to connect your Shopify store to Spotify. Now, if you're just like, I don't know what to do to get started on Shopify, or I really need to redo my Shopify, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really happy to help you with that and go a little deeper on that training. Uh, just so you know who I am, I have been a six-figure recording artist for the last several years in a row as a non-touring artist. I've been raising my children, uh, homeschooling, building my music business online, uh, as that was the only thing I had. I didn't have touring. I never have toured. Um, and so e-commerce has been my thing. I studied e-commerce. And as a result of that, I started a sister brand company. It was built off of my music brand called Mythology Candles. In fact, this is my music shop right here. And you see these candles over here two years ago. 
I decided to launch candles with my album just to see if that would be a more uh, immersive experience. And I, I saw a gap in the market in this niche that I do. And so I released it. Well, I'm in my 19th month since I've launched that brand. And here's my other Shopify store. You can see this is what I've accomplished in 19 months, 3.8 million. We will absolutely hit the 4 million mark in the next uh, month or so. Actually, yes, by next month, we'll pass the 4 million mark. Um, so that's been since March 2020 till now. And so I really understand e-commerce. I love e-commerce. I've been really wanting to sink my teeth into it. But that's what you have to understand is that when you're selling physical or digital products online, you're actually in the e-commerce industry. You're not even in the music industry. I mean, yes, it's, of course, we're musicians, but this is actually what you got to do to to make money, multiple streams of income, um, and really create that community and a bond with your fans. And of course, it's all about relationship. So anyways, if you want more training on like the theme that I'm using, what I use to run my multi-million dollar companies, what I'm doing with my music store, how I'm getting traffic, all that kind of thing, definitely sign up for the training that I'm just put out now. I want this to be fresh and like the latest stuff. So it's going to be an e-commerce crash course for musicians. If you want that, click on the link and I would love to help you out with it. So really excited for you and we'll talk soon.